named Thomas. Thomas is pretty cool. Thomas is very astute. He he's very observant, and um, he was in the Holy Family Church earlier, I guess, a couple of weeks ago. And he's just looking around at all the paintings and around the church, and he saw a painting that he thought looked a little familiar. Investigated a little closer, it ended up being a priceless 17th century Baroque painting. <laughs> like it was just hanging in a church. Nobody even knew what it was. Well, I don't even know what a Baroque painting is, only that it's broke. <laughs> no, Baroque, although I have said it that way before. So, no. <laughs> but it was just. Broke. Exactly. And I'm not an art connoisseur um, or um, an art major, but I do know it's 17th century and they're saying it's priceless. In fact, um, he, it's on loan now because he discovered it and got in contact with some people. It is on loan to Iona College, which is going to have it for about three to six months. So other people can see this Baroque painting. OK, I'm sorry. Yeah. All these names sound like different words, like the paintings <laughs> broke and you own a broke painting. Robin Liz. His morning crew. His radio set up in the parking lot of Bojangles in Simpsonville, South Carolina today. The Five Forks area, Woodruff Road. When you drive by, you'll see all the lights this morning because it's really dark out. Right, at the <laughs> right exactly. I'm telling you, we have the free gas we're giving away for King & Country concert tickets giving away. And Liz, let me tell you, when Pam stopped by this morning, that just really touched our hearts. It really did. Pam came through and she said she wanted to give to his radio. We have share a starting uh, in just a couple of weeks. And she said, I just wanted to go ahead and do it. And she said, uh, my mom passed away. And I don't know when her mom passed away, but it wasn't. It felt like not that long ago. And, and her voice began to crack. And she said, I passed where her body is this morning. You know, she had been buried um, and she passed that area. And she just heard God tell her she needed to do something and she came through the parking lot of Bojangles and handed me her gift for his radio and she said you know I've been involved with his radio from the very beginning in fact before his radio was on the air I was praying for a station like his radio and now that I have that I mean she understands that she's part of it it's a listener supported radio station and she is part of keeping us on the air with prayers and uh. that gift. And it was it was just amazing to hear how God works in her life all the time. That blows my mind. Pam, thank you for mm -hmm. doing that this morning. That's not why we're here in the parking lot. We're mm -mm. not like, bring money and support this station. <laughs> we just want to have fun with you and give away free gas and for King of Country concert tickets and just, just kind of get out. I mean, this whole pandemic thing, you know? And just kind of get out and be with you and where you are. Of course, we're social distanced and everything else. Thank you, Pam. That means so much. By the way, we're live in Simpsonville this morning in the parking lot of Bojangles. We've got the free gas we're giving away and the mm -hmm. country concert tickets given away. And Liz evidently accepting cash. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is really cool. Would love to meet you and catch up with you this morning. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. Do you know what's going to be available pretty soon? You can take your candy bar and your coffee and smoosh them together. Oh, really? What, a Snickers? No, a Reese's. Oh. Reese's iced coffee is on the way. <laughs> What's it going to taste like? I guess what what I would hope is, well, kind of not hope, um, a big Reese's cup in your cup. So it like, tastes like peanut butter? I think so, peanut butter and chocolate. Um, it comes out in October. And International Delight is already doing some of these type things where you can get like an Almond Joy flavored creamer. I like the flavored creamers. I don't know about a candy bar creamer. I've never tried it, so I don't know what to say. <laughs> wow. You know, I like Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh, well, yeah. Who doesn't? Kryptonite for me. I, mm. think, I think everything's kryptonite for me that's not healthy, <laughs> but especially Reese's peanut butter cups. But to have it in coffee, I'm not sure what well, that's going to be like. But I will say it'll be a lot less calories, a lot fewer calories for you to put that creamer in your coffee and have just a little taste of that Reese's cup. So maybe that is a way to go. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. Here's the thing. You've got to watch the gum chewing. Oh, I know. You know, especially with a student. 
I don't know if you've ever swallowed gum, but yes. some people do. Oh, Liz has swallowed gum. When I was a kid, and then I have one of my children, notorious for swallowing gum. And, it, you know, the old wives' tale is, it's going to stay in your tummy for seven years. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Kind of. Three days, at least. So, is it harmful for you to swallow gum has been the big question that's come out lately. And the question is, well, not really if it's once in a while. It'll go through your digestive system. It does not digest at all. And so it'll reappear later. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> so three days and seven years are quite a ways <laughs> apart from each other. So, But here's the thing, too. They say that if somebody's chronic and swallows gum all the time, that's bad for you because it will accumulate in the tummy. Oh. And it's bad. And they call it a certain thing. And, you know, I'm not going to go there. But it's 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 it. That's bad. And that would require you got to get some work done to get that thing out of there. Even gastric bypass surgery, some people have said. So if you know oh, no. to swallow their gum all of the time. But if it's once in a while, like if it was an accident, somebody came up to you and said, hey, buddy, boom, you know, <laughs> on the back door, boom, you're going to be OK. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. Hey, can I tell you a story about a bride who wanted to have a first dance with her grandfather so badly that so he's 94 and because of COVID restrictions and things like that, he could not fly and he, he was having some health issues. So what she did, because she wanted to make sure that she had this first dance, she did this whole uh, the Facebook social media video of her getting ready, having her wedding makeup done, doing the whole thing. She jumps on a plane 800 miles away. She sees Grandpa in his living room, and they had their first dance. He's all dressed up in his nicest suit. She made it happen because it was important to both of them. That is so sweet. Such I a beautiful it. thing. And, and to take a trip like that, just because Grandpa means so much. Mm -hmm. And he had to be part of that wedding. That's so great. Hey, we'd love to meet you. We're in this parking lot of Bojangles this morning, Simpsonville, the Five Forks area, here until 9 o'clock, giving away free gas and for King & Country concert tickets. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. I was reading about this one dad who is walking 1,200 miles, mm -hmm. all to bring, without shoes, he's doing a barefoot, mm -hmm. all to bring awareness because his daughter has a rare genetic condition. She's only nine years old. And so it's cognitive impairment, premature aging, you know, some abnormalities and a lot of health things. I mean, she might might, might not be with us too much longer right? Um, because of this rare genetic disorder. And so he's bringing awareness for this. He's walking 1,200 miles of the East Coast barefoot. Right. He started in Maine and feels like he's going to end up in North Carolina sometime late October. But yeah, he's he's walking somewhere between 20 and 30 miles every single day. And he's got this huge backpack um, and a sign kind of, you know, on his back that explains what he's doing. He said it gets heavy. But you know what? What she's walking through is also very heavy. Isn't it, though? Yeah, it's 55 pounds and what he has in that rucksack or this big backpack that he's wearing. You know what she wants to do? She just wants to become a chef or a dancer. Oh, That's her dream. Sweetie. He really wants to do this. He's done this in the U.K. already, a shorter version mm -hmm. of this. Uh, his goal is to raise $3.4 million for CDLS research. And doing and a he job. Yeah, he raised a ton of money, several hundred thousand dollars just in that little short jaunt that he took in the UK. And so he feels, because obviously it's it's a lot more miles and a lot more area, that it's going to bring a lot more awareness here in the States. And so I, I think he's going to get that goal. Good time of the year to do that barefoot, because it won't be as hot like during the summer. Exactly. Oh, Woo! Man. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. Catching up with a lot of people this morning in this parking lot. Big tailgate party. It is so much fun. I tell you, Liz, so many people are stopping by this morning to say hi. I know. It's been so cool. So we had Cora and uh, her family that stopped by a little earlier. They were on their way to school. And then we have you. Tell me your name again. Jessica. Jessica. Get a little closer here okay. so everybody can hear you. And you were telling me that your son 
wanted to stop by the parking lot of Bojangles this morning on his way to school. And what did he tell you? He said that uh, he said he wanted to he said he wanted to cancel school this morning so he could come by. And I told him we can't cancel school. <laughs> and then so, he wanted to go in late. Yes, and then he wanted to go in late. He said just let's just go in late. We'll just tell him we'll just go in late. And I said no, we can't do that either. So I told him I would just come on stop by. So. <laughs> So he so I just said I'd come stop by for him. So and that's now cool. you're a radio yeah. star. You know that. I know exactly. <laughs> so we're gonna hook him up. I, I wrote him a little note to say you made a good choice. You went to school and you sent mom to yes. come by and hang out with yes. us. But I we, must we agree. love the radio station. Oh, thank you. I, I must agree. We should cancel school today. <laughs> that's right. from Rob Dempsey. I don't thank know. <laughs> Lots of parents are like. No. <laughs> not the school board or anything, but I think it's a good idea. <laughs> really good. Well, we, and we love that you stopped by to hang out with us this well, morning. And uh, she was sharing with me that his radio and the songs and the, everything just listening has inspired their family a lot, and especially your yes. son. His name yes. is Pierce, by the way. Yes, Pierce, thank you. We love you, my friend. By the way, we got free gas, free for King and Country concert tickets that we're giving away this morning in this parking lot of Bojangles. Would love to meet you. It's on Woodruff Road, Simpsonville, in the Five Forks area. We're here until 9 o'clock today. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. We're on location in Simpsonville, South Carolina, Five Forks area, Woodruff Road, which is like one of the busiest roads on the planet. If you're on this road, you know what I'm talking about. We're here until 9 o'clock this morning, so what, about another 30 minutes with our big tailgate parky, a party in this parking lot of both <laughs> today and zach has stopped by to say hi exactly hello <laughs> hey yeah, this is funny so zach what are you missing right now at this very moment optional zoom meeting for school <laughs> <laughs> he made a choice he said i can it's being recorded i can go back and watch it a little bit later and so he said i'm gonna go hang out with robin liz absolutely <laughs> You dropped your kid, your not your kids, but your brother and sisters off at school before you got here, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, Zach, you can win free gas this morning. Yes, sir. You know, you can win free for King and Country concert tickets this morning. Absolutely. Why are you a part of the His Radio family? Why do you listen? Uh, I've been listening since 2013. Um, my family moved here that time when I was 10 years old, and I uh, was going through some very difficult stuff. And the music on His Radio was just very encouraging and spoke to me in those difficult times. And then after that, um, I was able to find just some amazing artists and go to see them in car concert. And uh, yeah, it's just been amazing. You know, Liz, I want Zach to win the free gas. I do too. <laughs> I, I, it's well. just, it's so cool. The people that I've gotten to, you know, hang out with and we've gotten to meet this morning. There's puppies, there's babies that are stopping by. This is like the best day ever. And, and to get to hang out with Zach and hear his story, pretty cool. And just so you know, the puppies and the babies are accompanied by their humans and parents. Oh, they are. <laughs> <laughs> Rob and Liz, his morning crew. Melody is with us, Liz. Yeah, she is. So we were just chatting. You know, we've had a lot of folks stopping by. Benjamin, Alexandra. We had Dachiana from Romania, little baby that came by. It was a far trip to come from Romania. <laughs> yes, she heard us on the air. No, the parking lot this morning. <laughs> exactly. And Melody, Yes. Yeah, you. you're all grown up. Last time we seen you, you were five. <laughs> yeah. So when I was actually a fifth grader, um, and I was attending Pleasant Grove uh, Christian Academy in Fountain Inn, uh, which is in a school anymore, but you know the church is there. So um, our class actually went down to the station, and we got a tour of the station, got to see how everything works. Um, and then our teacher had taught us a song from one of the verses out of the Bible and made it a little song. And I can't remember which one now, but uh, we actually got to sing it down at the station. They recorded it. And I remember probably like a week or two later, they played it on the air and I was like, mom, that's me. <laughs> so it was really exciting, really cool to hear it on the air. And you know, I've been listening since then. And um, as an adult now, you know, and uh, my son gets to hear it on the radio now. So it's a family affair. Um, and really keeps us going. It's really been an encouragement throughout, you know, my life growing up and now. Right. She's, you know, she was um, inspired and encouraged by his radio as a child. And now growing up, she's sharing that with her own kids. And how awesome is that? And she took the time to come by and stop by and see us this morning. 
Oh, such a joy. Good to see you, Melody. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, y'all too. So I was really glad, you know, when I heard you guys were going to be out here, I dropped my son off. I was like, hurry up and get in the door. I have to get to, <laughs> to see Robin Liz. <laughs> Well, off to school now. Let's go. <laughs> That's right. Hey, hopefully you win the free gas because we got free gas we're giving away. Hey, could always use that. Robin Liz, his morning crew. We're in a parking lot this morning doing a big tailgate party at Bojangles in this parking lot, Woodruff Road, Simpsonville, Five Forks area. We're here for another, oh, about 12 minutes or so. And with us this morning, oh, I love this, Liz. This is Andrew. One of his first dates with his now fiance was for King and Country. By the way, Andrew, we're giving away for King and Country concert tickets. I hope you win. So I heard that on the way to work, <laughs> and uh, I decided I had to stop by. Yeah, one of your first dates, and now you're going to get married. That's right. That's right. It's uh, it's been a really uh, interesting journey, but uh, I think that one of the cool things was when we went to go see that first uh, Burn the Ships tour. We were really inspired, not knowing that we would get married later, but. Uh, here we are at our reception. We're going to have a, um, a full-scale ship in the lake to burn because we thought it was such a cool, you know, image of, of marriage just to leave the past behind. And, you know, that was something we got from uh, the concert. So That is so cool. And I'm glad you're a part of the family of his radio. Why do you listen? Um, I, I listen every morning just because I don't really, ever since my life has changed, I don't think that the other music uh it just seems a little more empty and his radio is the only thing that's real wow. oh, that means so much i want liz andrew to win some for king and country country concert tickets you know you know i do too i'm like over here going they have to go to because they're going to take their honeymoon later in the year and i'm thinking the night after their wedding they have to be at this concert you know Oh, you're going to marry right before the For King and Country concert? The night before, yeah. No <laughs> so if, way. So if Joel, if Joel and Luke are out there and they want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Come and sing at the reception. Come on, guys. That would Come work, on. right? <laughs>